They are the superheroes of the Friday Night Lights. And after six years and 53 games, Friday Night Rivals is back for season seven of bringing high school football into your living room. But which 10 games will take the spotlight in 2024? The time is now to reveal the 2024 Friday Night Rivals schedule. Welcome to the Friday Night Rivals schedule release show. We are entering our seventh season of bringing you the best live coverage of high school football right here in the Tri-Cities. And Casey, I can speak for everyone in the region when I say right now, just show us the schedule already. All right, everybody, good news. The wait is over. Week one, it's a heated rivalry game between two schools from neighboring counties as Science Hill travels to Elizabethan. The road team has won the last two matchups in this series, and this will be the 10th straight year these two schools face off in the season opener. Joined by Stacy Carter, head coach of Science Hill, your 15th season you're getting ready for at Science Hill. Does it feel like it's been that long? Yeah, it does. It <laughs> seems like it's been that long, but it's uh, it's been a journey and uh, had a lot of fun, meet a lot of great people, and uh, had a lot of great players. Our first game on Friday Night Rivals this year will be with Science Hill at Elizabethan. Since 2013, you've opened up with Elizabethan every year. What does this game mean at the first week of the season when you play Elizabethan? What does that set the tone for the rest of the season? Well, I think it's, uh, you know, it's good to get us off to a good start. You know, Elizabethan has been great for the last few years. They really have. And uh, so you bet, really better be ready to play. It means a lot. It means a lot for both communities. I mean, you get great crowds. And uh, I was just excited to get it started off with Elizabethan. With the head coach of the Elizabethan Cyclones, Sean Witten. Coach Witten, you guys are Friday Night Rivals pros at this point. I We came over here to talk to you. I saw the pile of trophies over there in the corner. But what's it like for your team to play on TV like that? Well, it's just a great opportunity for our program. It just puts us on another level. Um, every week we feel like we get everybody's best effort. And uh, when you get on TV, just an opportunity to showcase our talent level, the, what the guys can do. Uh, you know, you, we can focus on a lot of players, the student athletes, um, you know, guys that have kind of waited their turn to kind of shine. And, you know, it's just an opportunity for us to continue to push our program and let our, let our uh, people see how hard our guys work. Week two features a matchup between Class 4A Powerhouse Greenville and 6A Dobbins Bennett. Last year's game between these two was canceled after the game was called late in the third quarter due to the weather. This year, Greenville has the home field advantage. Joined by Joey Christian, head coach of the Dobbins Bennett Indians. Coach, entering your seventh season as head coach of Dobbins Bennett. We're going to see you guys in week two, August 30th, when you go down to Burley Stadium and play Greenville. Of course, last year, we only could get about two and three quarters of a quarter into that game with the weather. Uh, but certainly, you're going to know a lot about your team when you go down to Greenville. Well... Listen, when you play one of Coach Spratlin's teams, you know, you're going to you're gonna find out a whole lot about yourself, no doubt about it. Like you said, uh, such a, you know, great program. They do such a good job with their guys. Actually, we got beat out of the playoffs last year. I went down and watched them practice, um, you know, just to see how they do things. Greenville for a little town like that. I mean, they, um, you know, their talent level is usually way above ours. So it, it, it's, uh, it's a tough matchup for us, but, uh, but certainly look forward to it. Coach Eddie Spradlin from Greenville joining us now. Coach, obviously you guys play on television a lot, but is it still special when you guys get to play on TV? Yeah, for sure. You know, the kids all, you know, anytime a, a camera shows up at practice or anytime we're playing on TV, you know, it, it turns the, the lights on for those kids and, they, you know, they want to be seen. When those kids get to be on TV, it's really exciting for those guys. You are playing a bigger school in Dobbins Bennett on the Rivals broadcast. You guys beat them when you played them a couple years ago. Uh, why is it that you like playing these bigger schools like, like Dobbins Bennett? You know, really... To, to be the program that we want to be, we've got to play schools like that. You know, those are top teams that we're going to have to be able to beat if we want to uh, continue to play there in the playoffs. So uh, for us to do that, we got to, you know, and, and really we want to be, by the time we get to uh, week 11 when we're playing our biggest rival, we want to, you know, be at our best. And you got to play teams like that to be able to do that. Two games down, eight to go on this schedule release show. Which school will be our first stop in Southwest Virginia? That is still to come. Catch the biggest plays and final scores on Friday Night Huddle with the News 5 sports team every Friday night during News 5 at 11. Sponsored by Ingalls, Champion Chevrolet, and Pals.
in for the touchdown. He's got some running room down the sideline. Oh my goodness. Put that one on the highlight reel. Toyota's Friday Night Rambles, presented by ETSU Health. We call our Friday Night Live football coverage Friday Night Rivals, and the next two games on the schedule feature a rivalry steeped in tradition and a budding new rivalry. We kick off September with our first matchup featuring schools from Southwest Virginia, the battle for Bristol bragging rights between Virginia High and John Battle. The Bearcats won this matchup last year and get this year's game at home. Joined now by Jake Hess, the first year head coach of the John Battle Trojans. They will travel to Virginia High, always a competitive and emotional game when Virginia High and John Battle play. What is it like to be a part of that game? You know, I never played in that game, but but hearing the kids talk about it, that's that's definitely the one team that, that they want to beat that's on the schedule. You know, you, whenever they talk about the football season, it's always, I can't wait to play Virginia High. I can't wait to play Virginia High. So to them, the, it is it is the biggest game that, that's on their schedule. But again, even though it's game two for us, we have to start with game one and, and take it one day at a time. And joining us now is the head coach of the Virginia High Bearcats, Dirk Patterson. Coach, you guys have become Friday night rivals, veterans. Uh, what's it like for your team to play on TV? It's very exciting, very exciting for our kids, for the school, for the community. Uh, to be able to play on live TV is, is something that a lot of kids and coaches, you know, dream of. And for you guys to provide this opportunity for local schools is really cool. Your fan base is so loyal. What is it like uh, week in and week out with the Orange backing you guys uh, at the games every week? That's very exciting. It's really cool to go and have home games. And even on some of our away games, you know, we have as big of a crowd, if not bigger crowd, than, than some of the home teams that we play. So we're really, um, ex really proud of the Bristol community, how they come out and support us. Our fourth game features our first ever Friday Night Rivals game at Honeaker. The Tigers welcome Rye Cove to town. Last year, these two teams played twice, including in the region championship game with Honeaker winning both games. Joining us now is the head coach of the Rye Cove Eagles, Gary Collier. Coach, you guys are getting to play on FNR. What is that going to be like for your team this year? Well, it's like what's happened with us the last couple of years. It's just exciting. It's uh another step in the right direction and we appreciate you guys picking us up. What has this been like for you being a part of the turnaround at Rye Cove? It's been a blessing. Um, really the, the, the weight of things has just took off for us. Um, you, know, you go in there and you, you, you got a program that's folded and, and winless for what three years, 19 games or something. Uh, the community, the kids just bought into what we're doing. It's exciting. Um, and now, now we look at our program and, you know, it's not like we want to go out and win a game. It's win that first game. Our expectations is out the roof. Joined by Shane Wicks, the head coach of the Honeaker Tigers. For the first time, Friday Night Rivals will play a game at Honeaker. We did a game of yours last season at Patrick Henry. This year, it's going to be at Fuller Field against Rye Cove, a team you played twice last year. That should be an electric atmosphere that night. Yeah, uh, two great games last year. We... Uh, Played them in the regular season down there. I think we won by eight in that game. Uh, really good game, tough fought. Uh, then we play them in the playoffs and we beat them by 10, another really hard fought game. So I expect it to be uh, much more of the same. I know they'll be prepared, so will we. There's one game on the schedule that features one team from each side of the state line. We'll let you know who they are as we continue to unveil our Toyota Friday Night Rivals schedule. News 5 Sports, recognized by Tennessee Association of Broadcasters with top honors in sports coverage for WCYB's It's Bristol Baby Race Show with Heather Williams and Casey Getz. Award-winning news. News 5 WCYB. Kingsport native Blake Leeper will be making his second Paralympics appearance in Paris. He makes a comeback after missing two Olympic cycles and is hoping to bring back some medals participating in sprints. Up next on the schedule for Friday Night Rivals, a six versus five A showdown and our one and only cross state clash this season. After an open date, we resume Friday Night Rivals at David Crockett on September 27th. The Pioneers will host 6A school West Ridge. 
The Wolves won last year's matchup easily, so the Pioneers will be looking for a different outcome on their home field. And joining us now is Coach Justin Hilton with West Ridge High School. Coach, you guys have played on Friday Night Rivals before, but just talk about what it means to play under the lights on television. Oh, it's exciting. Our kids love it. You know, it gives it a big-time feel, like a college football feel. Um, and, and it's such a high-quality program that, you know, it's, it's just exciting. Kids go back and watch it the next day, so it's great. Talk about uh, you guys play Crockett in this game on television. Just obviously... Two programs that have had success a lot in recent years. Just talk about playing a program like Crockett on television. It's going to be exciting, and you know they're getting new facilities over there, so it should be it should be a really really nice atmosphere. Um, they always have a good crowd. We travel well, so it should be an exciting time. Joined by Hayden Chanley, the head coach of the David Crockett Pioneers. Coach, getting ready for your seventh season in charge down in Jonesboro. Does it feel like it's been seven years? It's definitely gone by very fast. Does not feel like seven years, and they tend to go by quicker the more we go. All right, this year on Friday Night Rivals, we will see the David Crockett Pioneers September the 27th in Jonesboro when they welcome West Ridge to town. You guys are going to have a new look to show off for people watching on TV this year. We are. we got a brand new stadium that is uh, almost finished. Uh, obviously, our turf is pretty much brand new as well. Uh, and then we'll have a new entranceway uh, to the stadium as well. So uh, new entrance, new stadium, uh, basically new turf. Uh, we're really excited about it. A lot of new toys and gadgets in Jonesboro, and we're excited to show it off. The second half of our schedule features a state line showdown between old school rivals when Tennessee High heads to the Commonwealth to take on Gate City. The Vikings won this matchup big last year, so the Blue Devils will be looking for payback at Legion Field. Joining us now is Josh Holt, head coach of the Tennessee High Vikings. And coach, I know your team plays on TV a lot, but what's it like to get a chance to play on Friday Night Rivals? It's great for us because it's kind of extra motivation for the kids. Uh, anytime they get on TV, they can kind of reach out to family that can't really come to the game and uh, they can see them play a little bit. And that always makes them excited when, when they kind of get uh, to be put out there like that. So this, this matchup is Gate City that you guys are playing. Uh, that team, obviously you beat them last year, but it's a great rivalry. Really one of the closer teams across mm -hmm. the Virginia state line. What's it like getting to, uh, to take your toe across the state line and, and match up against those teams? It's great. You know, back even when I was playing at Tennessee, I, there was a little bit of a rivalry with Gate City. We played them while I was there, and those were some really good football teams back there in the early 2000s. Um, coach Housewright's done a great job up there getting those guys back. Joined by Jeremy Housewright, the head coach of Gate City. And when you came back to Gate City as the head coach, you know, you had a vision to restore the program. The last couple of years you've done that. You've won eight games. You get to the second round of the playoffs. What's that next step that you guys have to take, and how do you do it? You know, the next step is beating some of the, the powers, you know, that we've had the last 10 years or whatever, the unions and the Grams and the, and the Ridgeviews. You know, we got to, in the playoffs, we got to go further than just the second round. Six down, four more to go. Coming up, we will unveil our final two games in Southwest Virginia when we return. Catch the biggest plays and final scores on Friday Night Huddle with the News 5 sports team every Friday night during News 5 at 11. Sponsored by Ingalls, Champion Chevrolet, and Pals. for the touchdown. He's got some running room down the sideline. Oh my goodness. Put that one on the highlight reel. Toyota's Friday Night Rambles presented by ETSU Health. teams from Southwest Virginia all in the playoffs last year and all are expected to be postseason players again this season as we unveil our next two games on the FNR schedule. A battle of Mountain 7 powers is on the agenda for week 7 of Friday Night Rivals when Union makes the trip to Dickinson County to take on Ridgeview. The home team has won six straight in this series. Joined by Travis Turner, head coach of the Union Bears, the only head coach Union has ever had. We're going to see Union on Friday Night Rivals this season, October 11th, when they travel to Ridgeview. Last year, Ridgeview was a 20 to 14 game against them as a yeah. tough team. They got their quarterback, O'Quinn, back. That's going to be one heck of a ball game. Yeah, yeah. You know, Ridgeview, man, they do a great job. Their coaching staff does good. Uh, they they got a great group of kids coming back. You know, obviously, you know, the quarterback's back, four year starter. So anything that he's he's done, he's seen it. You know. He's been under pressure and, and uh, been there and done it. So uh, 
it's definitely going to be a challenge, especially playing at Ridgeview. It's a tough environment to play in. Yeah, what's it like playing up there? I mean, it's a beautiful oh, yeah. stadium complex, but what's it like playing up there? Yeah, you know, just the, you, when the first girl come up the hill and you want to see the school, man, it's a beautiful the stadium, the turf field, uh, the facilities are top notch. You know, the, those guys did a good job on that facility. Joining us now is Coach Stanley from Ridgeview. So, Coach, Friday Night Rivals, you get to play on TV against one of your r true rivals in Union. So just talk about what it's like to play on television for your program. Oh, it's exciting for our whole community. You know, I can't wait to see what kind of crowd we'll have come out. You know, last year we got to do it one time with Virginia High. It was our first time in maybe three or four years. I think we'd done it before at Union. And it's a big deal. Our, our kids get excited. The crowd gets excited. It's, like you said, it's a great rivalry, and yeah, we're really looking forward to it. You play in a conference that I argue might be the most comp competitive conference in all the VHSL. When you have to go week in and week out with your teams and know you're going into a war, do you like that? I do like that. It, may, it makes you stay focused. It makes your kids know they've got to bring their best every week. Game number eight is our last one of the season in Southwest Virginia. Eastside will make their Friday Night Rivals debut when they host Twin Springs in a big Cumberland District matchup on October the 18th. Joined now by Keith Warner, the head coach of Twin Springs. Last year you lost to Rye Cove in the playoffs, also the regular season. Had nine wins, though. When you look at this year's team, I know at a school your size, when you have a, maybe a big class, it could be a big difference losing a, a senior class. But what do you have coming back this year? You know, we, we we've got we've got some kids coming back. You know, we did no no doubt about it. We did we lost we lost a ton. We lost a lot of a lot of our scoring. You know, we lost a lot of our line. So those guys that you know have have learned and watched. You know, it, it's their time to go, and they're uh, they're taking that and they're running with it. So it, it's it's good to see. And with Coach Rhodes from East Side. So Coach, first of all. Talk about what it means to your school to be able to play on Friday Night Rivals. You know, this is something we kind of look forward to and hoping we get to do it every year. You know, I think it'll be great for our kids, our community, to have everybody here and have a game on TV. And it's just not an experience that everybody gets to, to do, you know. And I know they'll be looking forward to it and our community will show up. And it'll be a good thing for the whole, the whole ordeal. Your, your, your program last year ended on very much a high note, made the playoffs, after kind of struggling a little bit. What kind of clicked in the second half of the season that kind of sent you on those upward trajectory? You know, I think we, we finally all clicked as a team and we all played as one. Um, you know, we talk all the time about playing for the guy next to you and everybody doing their job. And I think at the end there, we all kind of hit our stride. We played a lot of young kids, freshmen and sophomores. And so they got that experience early. And then by the end of the year, they were ready to roll. Just two more games unveiled tonight, and here's a hint. They are two of the biggest rivalries in the region. News 5 Sports, recognized by Tennessee Association of Broadcasters with top honors in sports coverage for WCYB's It's Bristol Baby Race Show with Heather Williams and Casey Getz. Award-winning news. News 5 WCYB. Kingsport native Blake Leeper will be making his second Paralympics appearance in Paris. He makes a comeback after missing two Olympic cycles and is hoping to bring back some medals participating in sprints. Our final two games on the schedule this year are two games that it doesn't matter the records, the rivalries run deep. The battle for Hawkins County will be featured on game nine of Friday Night Rivals when Cherokee travels to volunteer. This is one of the games where it truly doesn't matter the record of either team. The rivalry between these two will make it a must watch. Joined by Mike Castle, the interim head coach for volunteer. You've been here at Volunteers and Assistance since 2015, so nine years. Kind of let me know, what was your impression or first impression of the Cherokee volunteer rivalry? What did you maybe think of it from the outside, but when you got here and experienced it, did it change at all? Uh, it's a little more intense than I thought it would be. Um, uh, it's sort of like this. some people will tell you, it's not very important as long as you win one game, you know. But um, you have to try to get that out of the kids' heads because uh, you don't want to just go for one game, but um, for 364 days, you want to make sure you're on that, that W side. And with me now is Josh Henley, head coach of the Cherokee Chiefs coach. 
What's it like to get a chance to play on Friday Night Rivals? Uh, it's a big deal for our community, big deal for our kids. We're very excited about it and looking forward to the opportunity to do that. This rivalry between you all and Volunteer, I mean, I know we don't play favorites, but I love this rivalry because this is a game that both teams could be winless and this community still goes insane. What is it about this rivalry that makes it so special? Well, it's ingrained in the county for sure. And, you know, we're, we're always excited and pumped up to play, uh, to play against them anytime we get a chance to. Um, you know, it's a very long driven uh, tradition uh, with the rivalry and you know, we're really excited about the opportunity to get to, to play that game as a TV game this year. So. Our final FNR game of the season will feature the two biggest schools in our area when Science Hill and Dobbins Bennett meet. This year's game will be played at ETSU. What better way to close out your season than against your biggest rival? I've checked the dimensions of the field's gonna be the same, but uh, you know, our kids are excited about it. Of course, you know, you're playing in a, uh, you know, an, uh, an FCS school stadium. Uh, you know, they, they really, they really like that, you know, and just William Green, uh, the stadium, you know, it's named after. Just uh, I believe he's a Dobbins Bennett graduate, so the, that's a that's a good thing. Hopefully, that brings us a little mojo. It'll be good for both teams to uh, be able to play at ETSU, so uh, we're excited about it, and uh, hopefully, both teams have good records going into that. Good weather is something you want at that time of the year, so hopefully, that happens. So that, that's what we're counting on. Now here's a look at the full schedule all at once. We open the season at Elizabethan for the showdown between the Cyclones and Science Hill. Then we head to Greenville for another battle between Class 4A Power and a Class 6A school when the Devils host Dobbins Bennett. We kick off the month of September with a game really we're called the Battle of Bristol between Virginia High when they host John Battle. Then we have a rematch of last year's Region 1D Championship game in Southwest Virginia between Rye Cove and Honeaker. After an off week, we're back in action the final weekend of September when West Ridge travels to David Crockett. We start October with Tennessee High traveling to Gate City. Then two of the top teams in the Mountain 7 will meet when Union travels to Clintwood to take on Ridgeview. That game will be on October the 11th. Our final game in Southwest Virginia, Twin Springs traveling to Eastside. What a game that will be. And then we're going to wrap things up with two big-time rivalry games, Cherokee and Volunteer in the Battle of Hawkins County. And then we finish the season November the 1st, Dobbins-Bennett versus Science Hill at ETSU. Can't wait for that one. And if you want to learn more about these matchups and the 18 schools playing this season on Friday Night Rivals, we have extended interviews with all the coaches right now on our News 5 YouTube page. We'll also have this show there so you can share it with your friends. And once again, thank you for joining us tonight, and we will see you August the 23rd at Elizabethan for the season premiere of Friday Night Rivals.